Good evening. We begin tonight with a developing story. A massive fire tears through a vacant electrical supply store building tonight. It broke out at 530 in the Morena district. Fire crews worked very quickly to get it under control. Fox 5's Kasha Gagorchik joins us live with what she's learning at this hour. Kasha. And Phil, as you can see behind me, one engine here still on scene, keeping an eye on this building, making sure there are no flare ups with this fire overnight. I'm also told Morena Boulevard here is about to be opened up any minute now. It has been closed in both directions for the last few hours. This electrical supply shop hasn't been open for the last few years. Neighbors we talk to say that it's been a frequent problem with people coming in and out of the vacant building. And today we know that the fire started on the second floor, largely tore through the roof of the building. Sky Fox over a second alarm fire in Morena Friday evening. Crews saying the mason structure largely contained the fire within its four walls. We did have some reports that somebody was inside, but then we were told that they were accounted for. The fire broke out on the second floor of the building, an old electrical supply company no longer in operation. Ron, who I have known for a while, uh, I've been a customer of him for like 30 years. So sad for me to see because he was a really good businessman, really upstanding, really honest. Alan Ryder says the neighborhood has had problems with people coming in and out of the building for about the last three years after the owner passed away. He died just a few years ago, and then this place has been occupied by, I don't know, tweakers, whatever. So. It's a sad end to it. Crews were able to knock down most of the fire within about an hour. While no surrounding buildings were damaged, the flames on the second floor also spread to the ground floor. Heavy fire load, meaning there was a lot of combustible material inside. Fire officials were able to confirm, by the way, that it did appear two people were living on the second floor of this building. Um, some good news to report. There were no injuries to anyone inside or fire crews. Of course, a cause is still under investigation. Reporting live in Marina tonight, Kasha Gregorczyk, Fox 5 News.